Hey, I got a question for you. What does a communist and a capitalist have in common? What if I were to tell you communists and capitalists are both deprived of free unprejudiced access to the internet? That's right, a basic freedom that should be available to all. So in other words, key word is deprivation. Tell you what, let me explain. While using advanced applicational software to promote websites, products, and or services, internet marketing experts, also known as the capitalists, are often blocked by tier one websites and social media networks for their online activity. Now allow me for a second to compare those capitalistic marketers to the good old communistic people of China, who for whatever stupid censorship reasons cannot freely navigate the internet to Google, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Now it's a given that these rich capitalistic internet marketers are primarily online to make money, while the good communistic people of China are generally online to freely articulate themselves without prejudice. Yet again, both capitalists and communists share the same problem. Without proxies, their online internet activity is next to impossible. A proxy server has two uh, uh, purposes. Number one, to keep people and machines behind them anonymous. Number two, to speed up access to third-party internet resources by using fast servers to deliver results. Now with all of that said, whatever your need for a proxy is, we have the solution. Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Cohen and I'm a search engine optimization expert. And on the screen, I'd like to introduce you to the SharePro Proxy Master. This software is capable of downloading thousands of fresh proxies off of the internet literally within seconds and then testing them for speed, status, and even determining which country the proxy originates from. Most importantly, the SharePro Proxy Master will take each IP address and check it to ensure that it's not a locked in gateway proxy. In other words, we will check to ensure the proxies can navigate to websites like Google, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Now, you'll notice a couple of tabs up here uh, front and center. The start feature will initiate the extractional process uh, from uh, websites, forums, blogs, message boards. In other words, we're extracting all of the proxies that are uh, uploaded on the internet. And of course, uh, should you need to stop the extractional process at any time, you can do so by clicking stop. And you can save the good proxies, all proxies that have been extracted. You can even add to the uh, library of URLs. And then finally, to demonstrate our commitment to the software, we have uh, an option to contact us via the support button. And just above, you'll notice es5.com, which is a forum that uh, focuses on penetrating online established communities to promote websites, products, and or services. And the, basically, we have a full support thread. Uh, should you have any uh, questions, comments, concerns, uh, you can definitely come to our forum uh, to contribute. And just before I click the start button, I want you to pay special attention to this little area. As soon as I click the start button, a new tab will appear that says uh, testing proxies. And uh, so here I go clicking start and there you go, the test proxies. And you'll notice how many threads are being used in as little as uh, five seconds, almost uh, 9,000 proxies, in fact over 10,000 proxies have already been extracted. And you'll notice here uh, you've got the proxy IP, the port address, and of course the site that it's being extracted from. And there's a variety of different websites that we are extracting from. Now, um, now that we've gone to the test proxies tab, you can click the test proxies. Of course, you can stop at any time. Now, testing proxies can be extremely time consuming, especially over 10,000 proxies. So should you uh, want to test pr less proxies, say 1,000, 5,000, or 10,000, you can uh, configure that right there in that box. For the purpose of conversation, we're going to click Test Proxies. And again, we won't have time to test all 10,000 proxies. But what I want to uh, demonstrate to you is the integrity of the software. And basically, um, the software sometimes will mention that the, or that the uh, proxy is bad. And that doesn't necessarily mean that the proxy is not working. And in fact, most often the proxy is working. But basically, uh, our concern is speed. And so sometimes we're uh, accessing these proxies and testing them against third-party web servers and we find that the uh, speed is not as responsive uh, as 
is not as fast as we'd like it to be. So we uh, simply, it, since it doesn't uh, hold to our standards, we mark it as bad. So again, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not a proxy. It just means that it doesn't hold up to our standards. Now, to give you an example of the proxies, uh, take, a no take notice of this. You've got 77123631131. Um, again, that's 77123631131. One one three, and you'll notice the port number is three one two eight. Let me open up a browser, and this is the Firefox browser, and this is my current IP address. I am located in Israel, so this IP address resolves to two one two two thirty five seventy seven dot one thirty five. Now, by going into the options menu, you'll notice that uh, I've gone to the network tab. And by clicking on settings, I can configure my local browser to complement this third-party browser. So to do so, I'm going to click manual proxy configuration, and I'm going to type in 77.123.63.113. And then, of course, we had the port number, and I think it was 3128. This is a proxy. I think it's located in the Ukraine. Now I'm going to click F5. And look at how fast this proxy works. So again, I'm located in Israel. And this proxy is out there in the Ukraine. And the website, whatismyip.com, is out there in the United States. So this is an extremely fast uh, proxy, which, again, it not only demonstrates the integrity of the software, uh, its ability to extract proxies from third-party locations, but its ability to test those proxies to ensure that the proxies are extremely fast. Now, again, um, let's take another random proxy uh, that's been uh, noted here. You'll notice that we have, uh, let's say, 7791 .53 this proxy down here number 18 it's out there in the Ukraine somewhere once again I'm now going to use the uh, IE browser because I want to educate you guys how easy it is to configure your browser and basically I'm going to go to connections land settings 77 dot 91 dot 153 dot 53 and I'm gonna have to double check that uh, 8080 is the port number you'll notice it right there 8080 so that is how you set up the browser and configure it to accept uh, complement the, uh, the the proxy I'm gonna click OK and again once again this is my current IP address I'm going to click F5 and look at how fast it uh, changed my IP address to this, I, uh, uh, this proxy out there in the Ukraine. So with that said, I hope this has been an extremely uh, informative uh, video to demonstrate not only, again, the integrity of our software to be able to extract proxies, tens of thousands of proxies all around the world, but more importantly, to be able to uh, test those proxies in a reasonable amount of time and uh, configure our browsers to show you the, the proxies. Now again, it can be extremely time consuming to check 10,000 proxies. So you can always delimit the, uh, the, the, the proxies and, uh, and uh, check a, 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 a less amount of proxies. And these proxies can be used both in uh, browsers as well as applicational software. So it really doesn't matter if you're a communist in China, afraid of the government, and want to browse, uh, I guess China's blocked Google.com as well as Facebook, Twitter, etc. Or alternatively, you're a uh, internet marketer running software and require proxies to access uh, Facebook, Twitter, etc for your online activity. 
nevertheless, I, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And one last small thing that I want to, I want to uh, mention. I am the admin of ES5.com. The software is fully supported. Please come visit us at ES5.com. Uh, should you have any questions, concerns, um, or would like to contribute your own ideas so that we can update the software. Nevertheless, uh, my contact information is sharepro at gmail.com as appears inside of the video. And I'd love to sell you the software and more importantly, support the software for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's been educational.